You know, Chad, I was thinking about something last night. So, I don't know if you guys have seen, but the overall consensus for most people is Life Weaver kind of sucks. Pretty bad. It depends on who you ask, though. I feel like most of the casual players think he's okay. Either like, yeah, you know, he's he's okay. So most people like most people think that Life Weaver kind of sucks right now. And I think I have an idea. Normally, I don't have ideas like this. Like, I don't really think about this type of stuff. But I actually think I understand, or I have an idea as to why he sucks. Ready? Hear me out on this. The reason why Life Weaver sucks is because he takes too long to have reactionary healing. If I'm, let's say, doing damage, which by the way, very simple buffing his his damage needs is extra ammo. I actually think that the like the the needler gun is actually really cool. It's really intuitive, but it's not nearly enough bullets. 60, 60 ammo just it just ain't enough. It's he needs more. I think he needs like a hundred minimum for for that to feel effective. But here's the problem, Renny. So let's say I, I'm doing damage and I'm trying to, you know, trying to be a good teammate, you know, trying to do a little bit of poke or whatever. And then I notice this guy's in trouble and I go to heal him, right? What do I have to do? How long did that take to go from... I'd say about a second and a half, maybe. Now, let's compare that with some other supports. And this is the one I want to really show you. I'll find my own path. Kiriko. Let's say I'm doing damage on Kiriko. Someone's low. The healing is always ready to go, but once it's used, you have to wait for it to come back. Life Weaver's the opposite, where it's never ready to go, and you have to charge it to then react to use it. So, on top of that, though, he has the penalty where he moves slower while you have a charge, right? So, you're kind of punished for using him in what would be the smart way, right? Where you basically start a fight with this fully charged, right? You start a fight with 65 ready to go, somebody takes damage, boom, give him the 65 burst, right? But you're, you're actually punished for that because if you do it, you start to move really slow and you're a lot easier to shoot. Slow was not removed. It was moved to if you hold it for more than one second, which is the point I'm making is that you would feel the most optimal way to play him would be to have the heal charged and ready to go for a quick burst. Think about how all the other supports work. You don't have to build up to their healing. It's instantaneous. Whether that's you fire a bullet, throw a grenade, or for, I think, the best example, Kiriko, is your heal is always ready. You have your five papers. You just have to throw them. And then once you throw them, there's a, like a second of recharging where it balances out so you just can't spam it the whole time. Life Weaver's the opposite, though, where he doesn't have his heal charged at all times. If you changed him, now you'd have to probably slow it down slightly. If you changed him to like Kiriko, where instead of having to charge every time to 65 to then use it, it auto-charged on its own to 65 and held there while you're doing damage or whatever, you could flop back and immediately 65 burst somebody and then swap back, do some more damage, and then do 65 burst and then swap back, do more damage, 65 burst, swap back, do more damage. He doesn't do a whole lot of damage, but that would give him a more open window to do healing and do damage at the same time. And I think would probably make him feel a lot, uh, a lot more intuitive, because having to charge it up, it takes too long. The big problem is, it does not only does it take too long, but the proper way you would think to play Life Weaver would be to have your 65 burst ready to go. But what happens when you have your 65 burst ready to go? You can't do anything else. You're slow, you can't do any damage. Like you could throw your pedal down, you might be able to pull, but that's it. You can't be doing proactive plays, and your reactive plays are too slow. If you made Life Weaver so that he was always having the 65 charge, now granted, I think you'd have to slow it down a little bit, not by a lot. That way, you can mix in damage and then get a burst to heal. Mix in damage, get a burst to heal. I think that just feel would that just would 
overall feel a lot more intuitive for the character instead of having to charge it up because at the end of the day if you decide to go do more damage the longer you decide to do more damage the longer it's going to take for you to swap over and do healing right let's say somebody on my team starts taking damage i do a little bit of dps they get to half health then i swap to heal have to charge it they might already be dead right now, granted, you could say, what about the pull? Right. You could say, I guess you could pull them out of the fight, but you can't pull everybody out of the fight at all times. So, an auto-charge... An auto-charge feature, instead of having to charge it yourself, might be the best way to make Lifeweaver an intuitive hero to play. Now, there is one other big issue. The, the big elephant in the room. Literally, elephant in the room. Is the fact that his hitbox is this big. Like he, like, he is literally the size of a tank. That's Lifeweaver. Ready? Now watch Zarya up here. They are, like, the same f***ing size. Like, so I'm just saying, like, there's... The biggest things you gotta change for him are, honestly, his hitbox. Uh, how big he is. And I... But overall, because I've heard... I heard from, uh, Jared, who was talking about, you know how much work it takes to fix hitboxes, so it's not something that they're looking at right yet and right now. If hitbox is off the table at the moment, I think the best thing you can do is put his healing on an auto charge. Make it so the 65 burst is always available. Or not always available. It's charging up like it is right now, but I don't have to sit here and hold it. I can sit here and do damage, and then if somebody gets low, boom, 65 burst. Boom, 65 burst. And then probably slow it down a little bit. You know what I mean? So instead of like, Boom. Boom. Like, it's like, maybe double the, like, double the time, or double would probably be a lot. Maybe, maybe it's like 1.3 times slow, or uh, it's like, like 30% slower. You know what I mean? Give or take. So it's a little bit slower, but that way it's always available as a burst. Kind of like how Kiriko's works. That's how I think you probably make Lifeweaver an intuitive hero while keeping his, his same... Uh, design because at the moment at least the the consensus it seems right now is that he's weak now overwatch league starts today maybe i'm wrong maybe it gets play and played all through overwatch league but uh, i highly doubt that i don't know that's how i think you could probably fix the character though make him a lot more fun make him a lot higher skill ceiling and also make it so that uh you know you feel like you have more of an impact someone said first time life we were in a comp game and three teammates left <laughs> <laughs> True. No, I don't think I don't think you give him more health. More health is a spooky, 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 spooky route to go. Yeah, we we've been down the 250 HP support route. We've been there. Uh, it was not a good time. 